It used to be you'd worry about your kids drinking, but these days parents have even bigger concerns. Teens are now experimenting with everything from prescription drugs to heroin. And here in Naperville, the problem is on the rise. NCTV 17's Michelle Corliss has more. Victory. Rabin Rollerson was just a teenager living in South Florida when a friend introduced him to Oxycontin, a prescription drug used to treat severe pain. He was instantly hooked, but soon discovered he could get a similar high cheaper and turned to heroin. My days seemed limited. They were numbered from that point on. I went downhill faster than I've ever seen myself go downhill before. Like Rollerson, teenage heroin users here in Naperville often started with prescription drugs like Oxycontin or Vicodin. There are a lot of teens that end up trying prescription opiates um, either at home or at school or with, you know, with friends out at parties. And then some kids I think are also using just, you know, out of an escape from depression and anxiety symptoms. But with a single pill costing up to $80, the price becomes too steep for teens. So they switch to heroin. One bag, about a tenth of a gram, goes for about $20 in the suburbs. And with a quick trip down the Eisenhower, the heroin highway, to the west side of Chicago, they can get it for half price. Such a deal that they often buy extra, which they then sell to their friends. And such a problem that from 2010 to 2011, there was a 450% increase in heroin arrests among 16 to 19 year olds in Naperville including a 17-year-old charged with dealing just this past month. Possession of, of heroin itself is a felony, so you can't post bail and leave. It might seem bad that your son or daughter is getting arrested for something, but honestly, it's going to be like one more day that they're actually alive. Experts are saying that what used to be known as street life has become hallway life. Last year, six people in Naperville died from heroin overdoses. One was a student at Nequa Valley High School. But while heroin is making the headlines, Social workers say they see more alcohol, marijuana, and prescription drug use than anything. We hear a lot about heroin because when a student is using, they may overdose, but there's so many other things that go on before usually that students get to that point, and those are the things that we're trying to address. What's key is for parents to get involved and keep an open dialogue with their kids. Trust them, but verify. Check their Facebook pages, keep a log of what's in your medicine cabinet, and if you're afraid that heroin might be a problem, then look at their iPass account to see if they've been driving to the west side. Catching an issue early can make all the difference, because as Rollerson knows all too well, once you're addicted, the withdrawals make quitting seem impossible. He continued using until one day he was arrested. There's three things that are going to come from this. You're either going to end up in an institution, you're going to end up in jail, or you're going to end up dead. I ended up in jail. I denied treatment. And I've come close to dying. You know, that's why I left Florida. I had to. And recovery is a lifelong battle. Naperville resident William Garcia started experimenting with drugs when he was 12. He used for 20 years, during half of which he was exclusively on heroin and cocaine. He's been sober for 23 years, but knows he's just one step away from old habits. I wake up and every day I have to make a choice. Every day I have to make a decision. I don't think I got this beat. Not by a long shot. For Rollerson, it's only been three years, and he knows he has a long journey ahead to stay clean. I'm Michelle Corliss for Naperville News 17. More than 500 concerned parents recently attended a forum about heroin at the 95th Street Library. Because of the overwhelming response, the library created a special section about the drug on their website at naperville-lib.org.